Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's session and uh, today we are going to try and uh, deploy a basic application on Kubernetes something similar to uh, hello hello world uh, that we use and uh, we are going to use GCP for this it's very easy to get a GCP account just sign in and they give you free uh, $300 free uh, so once you log in and you are signed up uh, you know you get this uh, console this is the home page okay and then you can go into Kubernetes engine uh, in your case you will need to scroll down a little and you will find it somewhere over here uh, but I have pinned this so I can see this here so to pin something just go there and click on this thing and then it will appear here so let's click over here and what I'm going to do is uh, first clone uh, a repository okay and I've already done that okay and you need to open your cloud shell which is this arrow over here and this will open your cloud shell in GCP and then just clone this uh, repository I'll put the links in the description so that you can view them later uh, okay so once you've done that uh, we'll go into this uh, repository okay so now I'm out here and what we need to do is we need to set the project ID so we need to export project ID is equal to uh, you can get your project ID by navigating to home and then this is your project ID so it might be a number or whatever so you just need to go in here and you need to paste it here so cool so now we have done this uh, and what we'll do is we'll build this uh, docker file okay uh, and we'll tag it so just run this command docker build minus t and then we'll tag this Okay, so I think our project ID. Oh, okay. So what happened is I did a typo. This should work now. Okay, so now you see this is working. So basically this is a docker file which we got from this location um, this is this repo has a lot of samples for kubernetes which i'll be creating videos for and so you see it's building this and once it's done what you can do is you can go and check if this image is there so we see our image here with the tag v1 okay and So now we need to configure our Docker uh, authentication so that we can upload this image to the container registry. So what you need to do is run this command which basically 
authenticates uh, you to upload the files and now you upload this using this command so what this does is it uploads this image to the registry once uh, this is done you need to set your project ID and then you need to set your compute zone uh, this compute zone you could do this uh, using this create cluster option also uh, but I'm trying to do this using the command line so I just take this zone which is a default zone You could, talk, you could take any zone that you want. Uh, okay, so now we have set the project ID and the compute zone. Now what we are going to do is use the command line to create a cluster. You could do it using this option also, uh, but I'm going to create this using this. So this will take a while uh, to build up and bring the cluster. The cluster is created you should be able to see the cluster over here under Kubernetes in clusters but typically it does take a while so you have to wait for it to finish See the cluster is coming up now. The location is uh, US Central 1C. The cluster size is 2. Okay, so now you see the green check mark and uh, the cluster is ready. What we will do is we will list the compute instances and see. Okay, so you see uh, we have two clusters over here and this is one more VM which I have which is 
running my site but these are the two that we just created right and these are running okay so now that we have the cluster running the kubernetes cluster what we need to do is we just need to run a command to create the deployment and this basically creates the deployment with hello web and the image it uses is the one that we just uploaded to the google repository container registry okay great so now it show, says that the deployment has been created okay so let's see using kubectl get pods you see hello web is created and it's running now what we will do is we'll expose this deployment using load balancer to the internet and here's the command that you can use to expose this deployment okay so now it's uh, so you see this one deployment that's there it's ready it's up to date okay and we just created one deployment for hello web using a type load balancer okay now what you could do is kubectl get service should show us uh, right this load balancer but it stays pending because it's still creating an ip address so we need to give it a few minutes and then you know it will be exposed if you don't expose it uh, if, if you don't expose this as a service and a load balancer then you won't be able to access this application uh, externally it will only be accessible within the cluster so let's see let's run the command again and see what happens okay great so now we have our IP if we hit this address we see hello world version 1 hello name blah 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 host name is this one right so Which is this pod which is running which is the host name which we see here okay so now let's try to uh, scale this deployment and right now we have one uh, deployment running okay let's do this and deploy this to three pods we only have one pod running as of now so let's see so now you see we have three deployments and we should be able to see three pods all of them are running and it shows the time so we just created these now okay and uh, so now you have multiple instances of your application running uh, and you can just use the kubectl scale command to adjust the capacity of your application and uh, the load balancer automatically routes the traffic to these pods you don't have to do anything and so that's it that's uh, all we had to do to deploy a sample application hope this was useful thanks